This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Welcome to Shannon Wild. On this week's episode, I'm getting down and dirty with the dung beetle. And uh, as you can see, I've found uh, what I think is probably some zebra droppings. And it doesn't take long for all the dung beetles to arrive and start to uh, get to work. And uh, some really fascinating things about a dung beetle. There were some uh, studies recently that have determined how they navigate. And that is when it's daytime like it is now, they actually have photoreceptors in their eyes. Unlike humans, we can't see, but polarized light around the sun. And they use that to navigate to their tunnel, which is where they're taking the dung to then bury so that they can lay eggs in it. And some really unique uh, scientific studies recently discovered how they can do it at night. And that is using the Milky Way to navigate because uh, obviously we don't have that polarized light around the sun anymore. They can still actually navigate at night. So dung beetles are present on every continent on earth except for Antarctica. And they're extremely efficient at what they do. And thank goodness they do that because uh, without them, you can imagine there would just be dung piling up everywhere. But uh, they're extremely efficient in breaking that down and they prefer the dung of herbivorous animals uh, and basically that's uh, mostly foliage that's undigested so that they can actually utilize that. There are a few species that will go for dung of omnivorous animals but for the most part it's uh, herbivorous animals that they're looking for the dung. So the life cycle of a dung beetle basically goes that this female has found this dung, she's rolled it up and she's taking it back to where she will end up laying her eggs. Now, they don't just lay a heap of eggs into this one piece of dung. They, she will actually separate it out into basically little sausages of dung and she will lay one egg in each. And basically that little, uh, that little sausage of dung will sustain uh, what will become the larva in a, in a couple of days after laying and in one to four weeks it will actually pupate and then hatch as an adult. So it will hatch out of the little sausage, the little dung sausage uh, and that is what's sustaining it as I mentioned. So when it's a larva it will focus on eating on the solids uh, whereas the adults, the beetles, will sustain themselves on the liquid component. And then the process starts all over again. So it's usually the female that is doing this. And it's one of the few insects that actually exhibits parental care in that aspect, that they're you know, providing that, uh, that perfect environment to sustain it right through to adulthood. So I might actually let this one go. She's very, very busy. Um, and as you can see, they roll backwards. So uh, they're using the hind legs there. And every now and then, once she's on the ground, she will pop up onto the top, spin around so that she can uh, orientate herself, make sure she's going in the right direction because it's pretty hard to see where you're going when you're going backwards. Yeah, just like that. Does a spin around, works out she's going in the right direction, and then off she goes. So I might leave her be. She's uh, certainly determined.
Thanks for joining me on this season of Shannon Wild. We're taking a short break and we'll be back with a brand new season on April 18th. In the meantime, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Shannon underscore underscore wild to keep up to date with all my adventures. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World. This is ABTV.